The Real Life Mowgli, the girl who was raised by animals. Tippy Degre has been dubbed the Real Life Mowgli as she was raised amongst wild animals. After writing a book about her life and appearing in several documentaries, Tippy became a point of fascination for people everywhere. The picture and her story of her childhood are unbelievable. Tippy Degre was born in Namibia in June of 1990 to French couple Sylvie Robert and Ellen Degre. Tippy was named after the famed actress Tippy Hedren. Hedren is best known for her role in Hitchcock's film The Birds. When Tippy was born, her parents decided she would not have a normal childhood, but instead would be raised amongst wild animals in Africa. For the next 10 years, she'd spend her days running elephants and making friends with leopards. Tippy's mother, Sylvie, had no regrets about the decision to give her daughter an extremely unique upbringing. She told the Telegraph, it was magical to be able to be free in this nature with this child. She was a very lucky little girl. She was born and raised until the age of 10, totally in the wild. It was just the three of us living in the wild with animals and not too many humans. Sylvie told the Telegraph that when she was young, Tippy's everyday life was making sure monkeys did not steal her bottle. She also recalls on many occasions as a young infant, she'd call her over and point to an elephant eating from a palm tree and say, Mommy, be quiet. We're going to frighten them. Many children at such a young age would not have those strong instincts about wild animals. From a young age, it was obvious to her parents that Tippy was fearless. She was able to integrate herself into the lives of these enormous wild animals. Sylvie said she was in the mindset of these animals. She believed these animals were her size and her friends. She was using her imagination to live in these different conditions. Her best friends became those ferocious beasts. As her mother stated before, her infancy was spent worrying whether a wild animal would take her bottle away from her. However, this was possible from an early age as she was up and running around the jungle from a very young age. The people reported that Tippy was up and walking around by the time she was 10 months old. Most babies are still crawling on all fours at that age. Tippy obviously didn't have a normal upbringing. Her dangers were much more serious than most children. Many children had to look both ways before crossing the street. Tippy had to be on her guard constantly watching out for ferocious beasts. Survival techniques were taught to her from a very young age. Although the story behind this picture has not been reported, we believe her parents, like most parents would, did not let her play around with knives. Tippy once befriended a lion cub named Mufasa. Many pictures were captured at the moment. A year after the original meeting, Tippy and her family went to see Mufasa. He had grown into a very large cat. Although the lion was friendly with Tippy, giving her a friendly rub, his tail nearly knocked her over. Her parents decided to step in and keep her away from the animal. Her parents do not regret the decision they made for their child. Sylvia said, For me, it was incredible to think you offer all this to a child because I was at ease, because I liked it, and because I had lived with the meerkats in the Kalahari Desert for six years before Tippy was born. I believed it was fantastic to have that to offer to a child compared to what I would have been able to offer the child in a city, for example. When Tippy was only a year and a half old, she met Abu the elephant. Her mother described how she did not see the size of the elephant and run in fear. She would just look into its eyes and speak to him like he was an old friend. Her mother describes the original meeting and the bond they quickly made was incredible. Tippy once told the Telegraph that her best friend was a leopard named J&B. The leopard had been adopted by a local farmer as its mother had died in a trap. The animal was very calm with Tippy. However, it never lost its killer instincts. She recalls a time the cat attacked another child. Tippy walked up and told it to stop. The animal did and ran away. Clearly, from a young age, Tippy had a gift. She was able to connect with animals on levels many other humans are unable to do. Sylvie explained, Tippy always said that everyone was gifted and this was her gift. Tippy's gift was being able to communicate with animals. Her gift allowed her to meet many different animals and her parents to get some amazing photos along the way. Many little girls may freak out at the possibility of even touching a small frog. However, not Tippy. She was a friend to all the animals, including the slimy ones. Here, her parents were able to capture an intimate moment between their daughter and a very large African bullfrog. Many ostriches in the wild would normally run away from humans as they see them as predators. Luckily, the Degres were able to encounter a tamed ostrich. This one's name was Linda, and it was owned by a local farmer. Tippy looks very carefree. 
letting the wind blow through her hair as she rides the flightless and large birds back Throughout her travels the Degray family would also encounter many tribes people Tippy especially befriended the Bushmen and people of the Himba tribe in the Kalahari The tribe taught Tippy how to survive on roots and berries speak their language as well as use a bow and arrow Her mother said when we filmed the sand Bushmen of northern Namibia We'd let Tippy spend the day with the group without us until she'd fall asleep amongst the kids She was accepted by the local tribe children from the beginning Sylvie said when we came to a village with African children within two minutes Tippy was the clown and people found her so cute She describes how the African children were so accepting of her and enjoyed playing with her and they were especially fascinated by her hair Unfortunately, she never found that acceptance when she had to leave Africa and go back to Europe The seabird islands are located off the coast of South Africa. It's a very important breeding site for coastal birds Therefore, it's no surprise that the Degrays took a trip to the island also no surprise Tippy was able to become one with the flock here She is seen at age six with arms outstretched. She's completely in sync with her surroundings Once again Tippy's strong connection with animals shines brightly in this photo Tippy allows the snake to slither up her bare skin and give her a little kiss Many young girls and even grown adults would run away screaming. However, not Tippy her parents were able to snap this perfect photo a true testament to the young girl's bravery as Stated before one of her best friends was a leopard. However, she didn't just play with big wild cats She enjoyed naps with them too. Most children keep a stuffed teddy bear Tippy took that concept to a whole new level. She cuddled with live lion cubs during her naps However, the two look very peaceful and it's clear that the cub also enjoyed Tippy's presence when going to the zoo, people are normally instructed not to feed the animals. However, in Tippy's case, she had no rules. Here we see Tippy feeding a zebra. The zebra seems very excited about what she has to offer in that container. As always, Tippy is calm and collected, as is the animal. Food is a great way to make friends, no matter what species you are. By now, the fact that Tippy also rode elephants should definitely not be a big surprise. In this photo, especially, you can see her bond with the animal. She isn't just riding the elephant, but it's cradling her with its trunk It shows the amount of respect love and trust each has for the other Tippy looks completely serene and relaxed at this moment Tippy was completely accepted into the local elephant herd as seen before they were more than happy to give her a lift Now we see that the herd also welcomes them in their bathing and cooling down time in a local pond Although Tippy is excited and splashing the water the elephant remains calm once again shows how trusting the elephants were of her Tippy had a very unconventional lifestyle from her home to her clothing to her friends many young girls grow up wearing dresses She wore animal skins and loincloths many young girls carry purses. She carried a suitcase made from local trees Many young girls snuggle with a teddy bear or a favorite stuffed animal. She snuggled with live animals But judging from this picture she loved every second when people hear crocodile, they tend to stay away. Crocodiles have a bad reputation and are known for being vicious. However, Tippy did not see violence in this crocodile, but only another chance to make a new friend. We see her proudly standing on its back while balancing on one foot. The crocodile remains still, as though he also does not want Tippy to fall. Tippy's playmates beside the local tribes, children, were animals, including monkeys. Monkeys have come to be known as one of the most intelligent animals in the animal kingdom with many similarities to current-day humans Here it's prevalent that there's a deep understanding and bond between the animal and Tippy She gently caresses his hand as though they're studying each other Throughout the years Tippy was homeschooled her parents used their knowledge as well as the wild environment to teach their daughter all she needed to know we believe that her parents must have used the behavior of animals in multiple lessons including turtles Turtles can teach great moral lessons such as patience and determination towards your goals Later in life after attempting a public school her parents realized that homeschooling was the best option for her The African elephant is one of the largest land animals on earth They can grow up to 8.2 to 13 feet tall and weigh two and a half to seven tons African elephants can also live to be 70 plus years old Elephants normally travel in herds and if you didn't believe it already Tippy was part of their herd Tippy was seen riding and even bathing with the elephants, but here we see a direct connection of affection Tippy definitely has the best photo album of her childhood 
As you've already seen, she has pictures with some amazing wild animals like elephants, lions, crocodiles, monkeys, and turtles. This is mostly due to her parents. Her parents had the foresight that bringing their daughter up in the wild was a good idea. They also have an eye for amazing pictures, as they were wildlife documentary makers. This photo is a true testament to their ability to capture a picture at the perfect time. Unfortunately, many circuses and entertainment spectacles have come under fire for mistreatment of animals. Animals are forced to perform stunts and entertain spectators, sometimes under very harsh conditions. However, with Tippy, she did not need to punish or harm the animal in order for them to listen to her. Riding elephants came with ease for her. It was a bonding activity with a friend, not a tourist attraction. Tippy had a love for all animals, cute or ugly, big or small. If it wasn't apparent by now, this picture will certainly change your mind. Here's a close-up picture of her once again smooching a slimy reptile. Most parents would probably pull their child away in fear of a possible bite, but Tippy's parents, Sylvia and Alan, knew she had the situation under control. Just like Mowgli in the Jungle Book, Tippy spent most of her life in minimal clothing. She's photographed many times wearing just a loincloth or other light fabrics. However, this was done to keep Tippy cool in the hot African climate. Transitioning to everyday clothing like jeans and a t-shirt must have been very difficult for her. When she was 12, she returned to Africa to film documentaries for the Discovery Channel. Her mom says it was a wonderful experience. However, Tippy disagreed. She told the Telegraph, It was great to see the elephants and the lions, but it would have been better if I hadn't always been in front of the camera. It was hard work. It was difficult. It was hot and I was not happy all the time. I was worn out at the end of it. When the outside world began learning about Tippy, the public immediately wanted to know more. Multiple documentaries have been made about her and her experiences. Le Monde Salon Tippy, The World According to Tippy, was released in 1997. Tippy and Afrique was released in 2012. And Around the World with Tippy was released in 2004. Around the World with Tippy included six wildlife and environmental TV documentaries, which premiered on the Discovery Channel. After her 10 years in the jungle, it was time for Tippy to enter mainstream society. She and her family moved back to the city. Adjustment to life in the city was hard for Tippy. They moved into a small flat and didn't even have enough room for a dog. She went from having the whole African continent as her playground to the small metal structures most people grow up knowing. The first two years of her transition were especially hard. Her parents tried to assimilate her into normal society by sending her to a local state school in Paris. Unfortunately, she had little in common with the other children and began homeschool. In order to ease her desire to be around animals, the family bought Tippy a budgie. In order to ease her desire to be around animals, the family bought Tippy a budgie. Her mom said it would go everywhere with her, even on the train flying right by her side, sitting on her head or falling asleep on her shoulder. Tippy looks back on her life and feels extremely blessed for the experiences she had. At a young age, she began running her own website where she declared, My name is Tippy. I am African, and I was born 10 years ago in Namibia. Sivy told the Telegraph, Tippy believes she's African, and she wants to get a Namibian passport. She wants to become an ambassador for Namibia. It's like Mowgli's story, but Tippy's is true. Once she was fully adjusted, Tippy attended public schools and eventually attended University La Sorbonne Nouvelle University in Paris. She studied film and was last reported as supervising tigers at Fort Boyard, the site of a popular game show. This picture was snapped of her at the FICMA, the International Environmental Film Festival. There have been several other cases where a child was raised by animals. For example, Marina Chapman was believed to be kidnapped and then abandoned. For five years, she found refuge with a group of capuchin monkeys. The monkeys taught Maria how to catch birds and rabbits with her bare hands. In 2001, a young Chilean boy was found amongst a pack of dogs. He'd been living amongst them for two years. Officials report the dogs protected him and helped him scavenge for food.